What's going on all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. Some recent Marvel new printings of trade paperbacks they've had in the last couple of months. So, let's get started! And welcome back everybody. Now, before getting started, I want to give a huge thank you to the folks at Marvel, David Gabriel, uh, for sending us copies of these trades. So, here's the thing. On my channel, I always discuss the books that are coming out weekly from Marvel. I make announcement videos for Epic Collections, Omnibus Editions, uh, Marvel Masterworks, new printings. And speaking of new printings... Since the PRH, the Penguin Random House deal in Marvel Comics got together, Marvel has been trying to keep up with new printings of their trade paperback lines. So these are some of the ones that have come out in recent months. And I figured let's make a video so you all are aware as to what is coming back to print. So that's what this video is about. Talking about these different series, uh, whether they're random volume numbers or whether they're an actual event that have new printings. So if you've been looking for one particular trade paperback that is missing from your collection, well, hopefully it'll be on this list. So let's take a look at it. The first set of books we're gonna be looking at are the smaller scale books. Uh, these are geared, I wanna say towards kids, but honestly, anybody can enjoy these. I love this book. This is Thor and Loki, Double Trouble. And it is written by Mariko Tamaki and drawn by Guri Hiru. And it's just a cute story. I'm not doing overviews of every one of these. That would take forever. Uh, but I'm so glad that it's back in the print. Like, some of these books came and went so quick. You have one and Vision there, the Marvelverse. And then, like, Strange Academy. That is the only way to collect Strange Academy. There's an oversized hardcover coming out. It's still not out. I think that is now pushed back until August, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this is the only way. There are no trade paperbacks. It's just a smaller case book collecting the first six issues of this wonderful series by Scotty Young and Humberto Ramos. Uh, there's Miles Morales' Ultimate End. So these books, like I said, came and went, or have gone out of print, and you may still see them at the on your local comic book store, or places like Cheap Graphic Novels, Walt's Comic Shop, but they are out of print at the distribution level. Well, not anymore, now they're back. Next up are some of what I like to call one and dones. So this is like the vision, that's, all 12 issues are collected in here. You don't need to have read anything after this or before this. It's a great standalone story. Secret Invasion was the event uh, by Brian Michael Bendis that is being adapted into a TV show. It's about the scroll invasion and taking over characters. Marvel, which is a phenomenal series right here. Uh, this was, I think, a pitch, if I'm not mistaken, by Alex Ross and Kurt Busiek. And it collects the different Marvel stories featuring characters through the ages of Marvel Comics. Of course, collects the different Marvel stories. The actual comic book called Marvel. And it's done through the different ages. Now, the book came and went. Like, it just came out in June. And there is a big, beautiful gallery edition of this one. Um, or, I'm sorry, it's a treasury edition because it is soft cover. But this is the trade paperback version. Your Scarlet Witch, a book that seriously went out of print as soon as it was... I think before it even came out, it was out of print. It's a 12-issue maxi-series. It's what I like to think of as the redemption arc of Wanda Maximoff. Written by James Robinson. And he is joined by just several artists. And I've done overviews of all these books that I'm going to be looking at. Well, most of them. The History of the Marvel Universe. They're reprinting just the standard edition cover. This is the big Niven cover. But the artwork inside is done by Javier Rodriguez. And oh my gosh. Like there's only a handful of people that could have written this. And one of them of course being Mark Wade, And that's exactly who got to write this phenomenal story. Of going in chronological order from beginning. To what you think will be the end of the Marvel Universe. You know what was happening at the time the invaders were around. Where Captain America was. Oh, that one's pretty easy to figure out. The coming of the Silver Age, the Marvel Age of Comics, the introduction of Spider-Man, the introduction of the X-Men, the events, all of it in chronological order with the indexes in the back, just so you know that Mark Wade did his homework. It's freaking insane. Spider-Man, Spider-Shadow is back into print. This is the Chip Zdarsky story. It's a long what-if miniseries of what if Spider-Man had kept the symbiote. Love it. 
and Silver Surfer Black. This has been collected in a Treasury Edition. It's been collected in the Cosmic Universe by Donny Cates. But Trad Moore's artwork in here is just stunning. If you haven't had a chance to read it, it is so awesome. It spins out of the Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, the first issue. But you don't need to have read it. It's its own little thing. And oh my gosh, the colors and the art are just absolutely stunning in this series. Next up, you have Venom Carnage Unleashed, which just collects stories throughout the years of Venom and Carnage's struggle. I guess Carnage is kind of like the bad son. If he was a homicidal maniac murdering people and happens to get your symbiote. Uh, but he collects just different stories, little mini-series uh, throughout the years of Venom and Carnage. And since it's different times, sometimes it's Ben Riley that plays the role of Spider-Man, sometimes it's Peter Parker, and just different artists and different writers taking on the two characters. But this one has come back to print. Now we're looking at this stack, and these are just several volumes that have gone in and out of print. Um, most recently, Shang-Chi. This was released just last year, and it went out of print. And again, just because a book is out of print, like Eternals, which has been my favorite Eternals run. I've never been a big fan of Eternals and Kieran Gillen is just killing it and of course it helps to have this beautiful artwork by Ezad Ribbage. Don't know if there'll be an oversized hardcover one day or not. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it doesn't matter if you still find them at Cheap Graphic Novels, Walt's Comic Shop, Insock Trades, Diamond Breed Collectors, uh, Organic Price Books. It's just that they're out of print at the distribution center. But now they're being restocked. These are all new printings of the book. Not different ISBNs, so it's not that difficult for your local comic book store to order them. It's still the same ISBN. But, like, this is just random. It's like a Volume 3 of Avengers and Volume 1. This, like, all of Moon Knight has been selling crazy. And despite of how people feel about the TV show, holy crap, did it bring a lot of people to read Moon Knight. This, the Epic Collection, uh, the Jeff Lemire Collection, immediately went out of print. And now it's back. So this is the Jed McKay stuff. I don't know how long this will stay in print, but at least Marvel is trying to keep their books in print for people to access them. This is the Chip Zdarsky Daredevil run. This is Volume 4. Uh, Miss Marvel. So not only do we have G. Willow Wilson's Volume 1, you know, this is the series that pretty much introduced us to this wonderful character of Kamala Khan. This is, of course, Adrian Alfona, who did the artwork for Runaways. Uh, and this is what the inspiration for the TV show was. But we also get solid in Ahmed's Volume 3. So like I said, it's like volume numbers are just sporadic. It's what they see that's out of print in the distribution level. Cosmic Ghost Rider. This is the Baby Thanos Must Die story arc. Man, that's a dark story. Um, that one here is written by Donny Cates. And I believe it's Dylan Burnett that did the artwork in this particular miniseries. This spins out of the, uh, the first Donny Cates Stano series, the Venom, speaking of Donny Cates, Volume 6, which wraps up his Venom run, is also back into print. The Omnibus is still not out, and I think the oversized hardcover just came out a couple months ago, but now you can get it in trade paperback again. This Dawn of X era is getting some love because the trade of House and Powers of X is back into print. And if you've not read it, do yourself a favor. This starts a whole new status quo for the X-Men, which means they're also reprinting some of the volume ones, like X-Men. This follows up immediately after House and Powers of X, Jonathan Hickman's run with Lionel Francis U on artwork. And we also have Wolverine, the Benjamin Percy and Adam Kubert run in here. But the anthologies come back to print. And this isn't everything. Like I said, this is just some of the stuff that they've sent me over the last couple of months. And... I've been meaning to make a video and figure now is a good time to make people aware of these new printings uh, because they've also reprinted a lot of the Dawn of X volumes and they went back and reprinted volume one of Reign of X. So the X-Men are also getting love as well as Star Wars. Now, even though some of these have been reprinted recently in omnibus format, they're coming back in trades as well, like Star Wars volume one by Jason Aaron. This is volume four of the trade paperback. But not just Star Wars by Jason Aaron. We also have a reprint of Greg Pak's Darth Vader. This is Into the Fire. This is volume two of his Darth Vader story. And this just came out, I think, late last year. Dr. Afra, whether it's 
some of the classic Dr. Afra, starting with volume number one right here, the uh, Kieran Gillen stuff, the stuff that spun out of the Darth Vader series that he was writing. Uh, volumes one, three, or sorry, two and four have been reprinted, as well as the new series by Alyssa Wong, but this is volume two. I don't know if volume one has been reprinted or not, but volume two has, and the newest series, The High Republic. This is the stuff that happens hundreds of years in the past before the Skywalker saga. And last, but certainly not least, holy crap, I can't believe they reprinted these because I figured they would just rebrand these as complete collections. But as you can see, this is the Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man Ultimate Collection. Volumes 1 and 2. This is the classic Miles Morales stuff of Ultimate Spider-Man. And this is the Ultimate Collection of Ultimate Spider-Man. All of this written by Brian Michael Bendis. So this is the character of Miles Morales that has taken over the role of Ultimate Spider-Man. And this, like I said, has been collected in omnibus format. But these Ultimate Collections have been out of print for years. Which should give people hope. You know, people that are missing some complete collections and Ultimate Collections. But the most recent series, the one by Saladin Ahmed, Volumes 2... Four, I'm sorry, three and five. So two, three, and five have been reprinted. And these are the most, this is the most modern run. As well as Spider-Verse. Now this isn't the classic Spider-Verse series, but this is Spider-Verse Spider-Zero. Spider this is not included in the Omnibus, the upcoming Omnibus. So it collects the Jed McKay, Spider-Verse 1, Christos Gage, Ryan North, and Taron Killam are working on this particular book with Jed McKay. So this has now come back into print. And this all takes place during the Spider-Verse uh, saga. So this, and I think a couple of other stories, there's a new story that's coming out uh, that's around the Spider-Verse. Those are not included in the omnibus format. But that's it. That's mainly most of the uh, new printings. There are others, so keep an eye out. Make sure, like I said, check out to see if the trade that you're looking for is back in stock or not. But that, as they say is that. If you're interested in purchasing any of these new printings, don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that is the huge stack for the last couple of months that they have been reprinting. So keep an eye out. Make sure you add things. I know like Cheap Graphic Novels does a wish list that will let you know when it comes back into stock. I think that's probably one of the best ways to keep up with what is coming in and out of stock. But yes, if you've been looking for a specific trade paperback, hopefully it's here or it will come back into stock later. Uh, keep an eye out on the channel when whenever we do our giveaway. All these books will be part of the giveaway. Uh, thank you all for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe, ring that bell for notification. Check out our Patreon and Spreadshop. Amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.